And now it's time for Let's Go NEO. The Feast of Assumption has been hosted in Little Italy for 121 years. The Catholics, the Assumption commemorates Mary's body being taken into heaven. So this weekend, Little Italy is transformed and a mass takes place on August 14th. But the fun is already underway and News 5's Nadine Abusada is there live. Nadine? Courtney, Delon, if you take a look behind me, they are actually just now closing the street. The hustle and bustle has been going on for days for this weekend. And then you can even come to this one right here, La Dolce Vida. The crew is ready. The best thing is when you talk about Italian culture, it oozes in love and food. And what's the best way to tell someone you love them? Well, it's simple, to feed them. While Little Italy and the church are hustling for the weekend. It's one of our big feast days as Catholics. And La Dolce Vita. What do we got, Elmer? Terry Tarantino. Let's throw the, the onions on there. Is nonstop. Let's get a little more oil on there. You know, we start 10 in the morning and, oh yeah, there's pasta cooking too. We're done at one or two in the morning. Which isn't what he expected more than 30 years ago. I got this building from my grandfather's friend in 1986. I never thought I was gonna open a restaurant. He started with simple things like drinks, pasta, bread, and soon. Before I know it, I'm doing like veal chops, salmon. You got fancy, that's what it sounds like. Well, we, ha you know, you have to keep up with uh, the competition. He's not lying. A little bit of marinara here. But he's kept customers happy and full for more than 30 years in the heart of Little Italy. Everybody that comes in this house, you're getting fed, right? I hope so, till we run out. They'll be serving up things like eggplant parmesan. We do sandwiches that we don't normally do. We have sausage sandwich, meatball sandwich. Pesto pasta, and can't forget. Now we put the basil oil on there. The salad. And the most important ingredient is simple. Fresh Ohio tomatoes. I love our tomatoes. We use those at the feast every year. For Terry, he has more feasts under his belt. Let's say less than 40, more than 38. <laughs> and he can honestly count. It's fulfilling. It's our culture. To him, it's a family tradition that he's learned from his aunt. She worked from morning, noon, and night during the feast to make sure everybody that walked into her home was fed. And he carries that same motto in his restaurant. It, it has to come from family. It has to come from generation to generation. So at the feast, make sure you're ready to eat. Don't eat too much of one thing. Have a little bit of everything. And drink. Don't drink too much. Eat before you drink. And don't drink and drive. Uber, Uber, Uber. And of course. It is the day in this little Italy that everybody celebrates. Bona festa. Wise words from our friend Terry. Now again, you heard it August 14th is when mass will be. And again, the festival starts today at six o'clock all the way till Monday. As you can tell, people are already out here. They got the memo. You want to get out here early just so you can make sure. Look at this cannoli. Look at this. You want to get food like this. Come back to me, guys. There's lots more to come and there'll be lots more food. And look, look, our friend Terry, he's actually working really hard over there. He doesn't even know. Wave, Terry, wave. How you doing? There you go. Is that for me? Oh, yeah, this is for you. I there you go. <laughs>